The cost of living in St. Petersburg, Florida. We're going to get to that in one minute, so sit tight. So if you're new to this channel and this is the very first time you've ever watched one of my videos, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon so that you're notified every time I release a new video because I'm always doing videos on what it's like to live in the area and what's going on in the community and I'm taking you around to the different neighborhoods to help you make a decision on where you'd like to live. Now, my name is John Kinnanen. I'm a local real estate agent servicing the St. Petersburg area. If you ever have any questions about moving to the area, feel free to reach out to me morning, noon, or night. What we're gonna cover in this video is the cost of living in St. Petersburg, Florida. We're gonna talk about the home prices. We're gonna talk about, if you're, if you're thinking about renting, how much you can expect to pay in rent, uh, the groceries, uh, your utility bills, and just all the costs that come along with living in the St. Petersburg area. What it's like to even go out to eat in the area and how much you can expect to pay. So without any further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, the median home price for a home in St. Petersburg is right around $212,000, which is below the average for a home in Florida. The average price for a home in Florida is $237,000 and the United States as a whole is right around $231,000. Now, if you're looking to buy a home on like in St. Pete Beach, you're looking at right around $477,000. So, that's right around almost double, a little over or right around double what you would pay for a home over in St. Petersburg. So, if you can't afford that 500 close to $500,000 home in St. Pete Beach, you can buy a home over in St. Petersburg and still be close to the beach. Still be close enough to where you're only 20 minutes at the most away from the beach. And I'm going to do a little video on the different neighborhoods in St. Petersburg, which will help you decide, hey, maybe this area is for me. And a little later on, I'm going to break it down by the different areas in St. Petersburg. So you're going to be able to see what area might be for you when it comes to the average price for a home. Now, like I like I said, your groceries and your utilities and things like that are going to be the same no matter if you live close, you know, on the island or if you live in St. Petersburg, Florida. The cost of gas is going to be a little bit more expensive over on the on the beach side than it is in St. Petersburg, which is to be expected. Because why? Because you're closer to the beach. So now we've talked a lot about what it costs to buy a home in the area, but now let's talk about maybe if you're thinking about renting for a little while. Maybe you're thinking about moving to the area and you're going to rent a, a place for maybe six months to a year so that you can decide where exactly you want to live, which isn't unheard of, right? So if you're looking at, you know, renting a one-bedroom home in the St. Petersburg area, you're looking at right around $941 a month, which is, you know, it's close to the to the average for Florida, which is $916. Um, the cost in Tampa would be $945. And, you know, the average price through the United States is $930. Now, if you jump up to a three-bedroom home, you're going to see that the average price for a three-bedroom home is right around $1,500, which, again, is right around uh, the national average, which in the United States is right around $1,537. So actually, you know, if you're thinking about renting in this, this is the St. Petersburg area. This is not on St. Pete Beach. Now, if you're looking at a four bedroom home, you're looking at right around $1,800. Now, you you can probably, now you can f probably find a home in the St. Petersburg area where your mortgage is gonna be less than $1,800 in my experience, especially if you're looking at right around the $230,000 home. Now, from my experience, if you're looking to rent on St. Pete Beach and be close to the ocean, you're looking at right at anywhere between $2,000 to $5,000. And why is there such a big range? Because it's going to depend on how many bedrooms, how many, or 
when it was updated, how close it is to the beach and things like that. A lot of people go in and they split that among, you know, a few friends or, and I help a lot of people from all over the United States do that. So if that's something that you're thinking about doing, uh, click on the little video in the description that talks about the six steps to moving to the area because that's going to give you you know, I've really streamlined that process for people because I deal with I deal with so many of those. I'm gonna put the it's gonna pop up right here, right there. Now when you compare St. Petersburg, Florida to other cities in, in Florida, you can see that St. Petersburg is about 5.5% lower than what the average is to live in the state of Florida, which isn't that bad if you because if you look at um Clearwater, Clearwater is even a little less, which I did do a video on the cost of living in Florida or in Clearwater. You can click on that. It'll be in the description below, but it'll pop up right here for you as well. Now, when you think about living in Miami, where if you wanted to live in Miami, it'd be about 11.4% higher than the, what the average cost of living is in Mich or in Florida. I said Michigan. Michigan is where I moved from. <laughs> Sometimes I still do that. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about the actual cost of living here, the utilities, what it costs for groceries, what it costs to go out to eat and enjoy yourself. Now, when you talk about utilities, I'm gonna tell you right now, utilities cost right around between $200 and $300 a month. It just depends on what time of year it is. You know, during the summer, obviously my bills are a little bit more because I have, you know, I'm running the AC more, you know, and I live in a bigger home, so, my bills might be more than what you or yours are. If you live in a 915 square foot of home uh, apartment, they say that your bill should be right around $160. And in the internet down in St. Petersburg is a little bit more expensive than what it is in Clearwater. Clearwater, it's right around 60 to $65. Here, it's only between 70 and $75. I don't know why. Now, if you want to get to work here and you don't want to drive, it is a possibility. They don't have like a subway system or, you know, I used to live in Portland, Oregon where they had like a mat. It was called the Max, which was an above ground uh, subway, basically. We don't have anything like that down here. But what we do have, it was we do have public transportation. We do have uh, what you call the Jolly Trolley, which runs up and down the coast, which goes from St. Petersburg all the way to Clearwater Beach. That is you know, on the island, goes up and down Gulf Boulevard. Now, if you want, to, there is also something called the Flamingo Pass, which, you know, you can take it anywhere in St. Petersburg. You can also take it from St. Petersburg to Tampa. It costs around $80 a month. That's not that bad if that's what you're into. Me, I like to have a car. I like to be able to drive wherever I want to go, and I don't like to wait on buses to show up. So, I mean, you are going to have car insurance at that point. You might have a car payment and you may or in the the average cost for a gallon of gas right now is two dollars and 24 cents, which isn't that bad compared to what it is where my family lives up north, where it was right around two two dollars and 50 cents a gallon right now. All right, so now we're gonna talk a little bit about going out to eat. So if you're going out to eat with your significant other and you go to a restaurant, a decent restaurant in the St. Petersburg area, you're looking at right around anywhere between 50 and $60, depending on if you get a drink or two, it could go up depending on how many drinks you get. Now, if you're on the beach side, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive, but that's one of the nice things about this area all this all along the Gulf Coast really is there's a lot of mom and pop shops there's a lot of um, seafood there's really good seafood down here whenever we have relatives come to visit us they always comment on how good the seafood is because it's it's f fresher down here because when they all live up in Michigan where we used to live where you know went to get to us they probably it's probably frozen then unfrozen then maybe frozen again I don't know but I can tell you one thing when we got down here the seafood is definitely a lot better so definitely go if you're gonna go if you ever go to like Krabby Bills or Frenchies or something like that Make sure you get like a grouper sandwich and get it blackened. That's the way I like it. I, sometimes I get a Caribbean uh, jerk seasoning on it as well because I like it a little spicy. It's always super good though. Now the taxes down here. I did do a video on that. I'll put it down in the description as well and it will pop up here for you so that you can watch it. When, you're, uh, when you come down here, you're going to notice that there is no state income tax. 
uh, the property taxes are lower and if you purchase a home and you make it your primary residence and what that means is some people buy have a house in another state and they have a house down here well if they make the house down here their primary residence then they are going to get a a uh, discount off their taxes and it works out to be right around seven hundred and twenty dollars in your pocket more a month and when your property taxes are lower that means that you can uh, afford a bigger home I know a lot of times that's what ruins it for people uh, back in Michigan when we used to live up there you know people would be able to afford the mortgage payment but then when you add in the the taxes they couldn't afford the house anymore and they had to drop down a, a price range so down here you can afford more house which is nice now when you think of health care down here you think it's probably going to be more expensive and I don't know what you're paying now but if you're an entrepreneur like myself and you have to pay for your own insurance it's going to roughly run you roughly right around two hundred three dollars per person for a healthy adult now let's talk a little bit about your income now on St. Pete Beach your av the average income of a family is right around sixty three thousand dollars and now when you talk about your income for the average household in St. Petersburg it drops a little bit it goes down to fifty thousand dollars maybe that's because the people that are living on in St. Pete Beach maybe that's because the people living in St. Pete Beach have more money because they are able to afford big uh, those homes which are, are right around what five hundred thousand dollars so the people living in St. Petersburg those homes are a little less expensive so it only makes sense that the household income drops a little bit because why because those homes are less expensive so when you think about living in St. Petersburg Florida you probably think that things are going to be more expensive and as you can tell from this video that isn't really the truth I mean if you're going to live in St. Pete Beach it's going to be a little bit more expensive for a home which is uh, to be expected because you're closer to the ocean and people like to be close to the water so if you're thinking about moving to the St. Petersburg area or if you're thinking about maybe buying an investment home in the area be sure to reach out to me remember click on that video in the description that tells you all about uh, how to the six steps to moving to, to the area because I've really streamlined the process for so many people because of this YouTube channel and like you watching it right now there's a lot of people that are reaching out to me and I'm here for you all I love doing it um, it's a lot of fun for me I'm gonna put my phone number down here you can text me or call me whenever you would like now let's take a look at this map and let's break this map down a little bit and I'm gonna show you the different areas that you can live where the home prices might be a little bit more reasonable alright so as you can see from this map this breaks it down by the different zip codes actually so right here this is the st. Petersburg area basically right along here everywhere my mouse is moving and this is really on the island side right here and so if 100% right here is the average for um, Florida so it's that color right there you know kind of right in between there really this is below this is above average so this area right here actually right here in st. Petersburg this part this zip code is right below the average and as you can see it's at 91 percent you can look at here this is above average this area right here there's a really nice actual um, neighborhood in this area and that's probably why that price or why it's uh, more expensive to live there it's actually 23% um, higher than the than the average cost of a home here in Florida and as you get onto the onto this side over here on the you know st. Pete Beach area you can see that that's at 127 percent so really I mean that's not bad compared to you know if for what you're going to get you're going to get beautiful views you're going to get really close to the ocean and if you're looking to buy an investment home this is really the place to do it is over on this area because you can then rent it out on the times that you're not using it we're going to zoom in a little bit more here for you and you can see like this whole area here really you know if the average cost in so if the average cost here in Florida was actually two hundred thirty-seven dollars, thousand dollars for a home, you can see. So that would be like right around a hundred percent. So you can see that all these areas right here would all be below the average cost of a home, which was two hundred and thirty-seven thousand dollars here in Florida. 
when you get to like right here, you know, it's a little bit of, you know, it's right about average. But right here, it starts to jump up a little bit and then it goes back down. And Welcome back. So as you can see, the homes in the St. Petersburg area aren't that expensive. You can actually afford to live there. I know a lot of people, they think, oh, I'm not going to be able to afford to live that close to the ocean, where in actuality, you're only like maybe, you can be anywhere between 10 to 30 minutes away from the ocean and still have a reasonably priced home. So if this is something that you're interested in, be sure to reach out to me because I love helping people like I mentioned earlier. And if you have a question, go ahead, put it down below in the comments and I'll be sure to circle back and answer those questions for you as quickly as I can. And if you want me to do a video on an area that you're thinking about moving to, I can either do a personal video just for you, or I will take my equipment out there and do a video for everybody to see that maybe will help more people. Because like I said, I'm always helping people move to the area and I love doing it. So I look forward to helping you and if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, take a second right now, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell icon so that you're notified every time I release a new video. If you found this video helpful at all, put in the comments below what you found helpful. Take care guys, have a good day.